Hey guys, this is Mike Garrick with My Nutrition Body, and today we're rolling out Warrior 5. Warrior 5 is a 90 day program that I just launched. It's for the top 5% of people who are willing to commit to think, eat, and move with a purpose. Now, my Warrior 5 peeps, okay, you're gonna be following along with your profile tool. Everybody else, you can follow along and you can learn some juicy tidbits too. So, let's get started. This video is on establishing a baseline. Now, what do I mean by a baseline? We need to have some baseline objective numbers, pictures, weights, so that when we go through our program, okay, we have actually have some ob objective data to measure progress, because that's actually what we're trying to do. We want to be able to measure what we're doing, make sure that what we're doing is working, because this is what causes a lot of the frustration. We go through a program, and let's say we start doing whatever. Um, P90X and if you don't have some you know at least a baseline weight then how do you know if what you're doing is working so the more information that you have the more valuable the program becomes because then you can measure what you're doing most of the time we're doing things right it's just we're not doing them right enough so we're usually only off just a little bit it's the, like I always say it's the 1% that makes a big, big difference. It's the 1% that you can do over the period of time that's gonna make the biggest difference that you can actually commit to. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about a bunch of different things uh, that we can use as baselines. Specifically, we're gonna talk about using the mirror. We're gonna talk about using a weight scale. We're gonna talk about using a, uh, some fat calipers and some uh, measuring tapes to measure body parts. So we're gonna to go to the bathroom and I'm actually gonna show you how to do that. Okay, let's take a look at our first piece of equipment. That's our mirror. The mirror's good because most people have one in their bathroom or multiple ones throughout their house. It's great, it's a very effective, cheap piece of measuring equipment, right? Well, there's one thing wrong with it. And even though it doesn't lie, when you're looking at it, it's subjective. That means it's open for interpretation through your interpretation of how you look. You stand in front of the mirror and I would say, hey, Mike, you're looking like quite the fat ass lately. No, I, just, <laughs> I wouldn't really say that. And for some people, this is an easy task. So when we're looking at ourselves, a lot of times we justify certain things or you know, we're, we're pretty delusional um, and it can be kind of damaging sometimes. So the mirror is good, but understand that it still is it's subjective. So it's open for interpretation. So we can use this along with other pieces of measuring equipment. So let's go to number two. Number two is, the scale. So the scale is great, right? Because it's, it's a cheap piece of equipment, very effective, especially if you use it the same time each day. So what's recommended is, is as soon as you wake up, before you drink anything, preferably after you go to the bathroom, as you come in and you get on the scale and you do that, you know, like that every time. If you do that consistently, you'll get a very consistent measurement that way. But there's one big problem with the scale. What is it? It doesn't measure composition. So it's measuring weight. Now, like I've said before, we don't want to lose weight. We want to lose fat. We don't want to lose water or glycogen, really. We want to lose fat. We want to burn fat. This is why our weight will sometimes fluctuate like this when we're, when we're on a program is because the water weight and carbohydrate, you know, the glycogen weight fluctuates up and down. So the scale is a great piece of equipment, just like the mirror. We want to use them in conjunction with each other, but you got to understand that it doesn't measure composition. That leads me to number three. Now, number three is actually two pieces of equipment. One being fat calipers. These are the Slim Guide, super cheap, very accurate. This is what I recommend, Slim Guide calipers. And also some type of measuring tape. This is a digital measuring tape. You can just get the really cheap $1 ones. So these are great because same thing. This again is just gonna measure um, size. It's gonna measure whether you're shrinking or growing. But what's neat is that you can, you can actually measure different areas. So you can tell where you're shrinking and growing. And uh, you know, on the tool, I've got a ton of different areas. So generally what? It's neck, shoulders, chest, waist, hip, bicep, forearm, quad, calf. Those are your biggest places that you'd wanna measure with the measuring tape. So how do you use this bad boy? So this guy, I recommend doing the threefold 
skin pinch test. What, because it's really easy and you can do it on yourself. And it's, it's almost as accurate as the 7 one. The 7 one's a little bit accurate, but you can't do it on yourself. Now, I can do this on myself because the male, the, me, the way to test this on a male is pec, ab, and quad. That's pretty easy because that's on the front part of your body. On a woman, it's the tricep, the super iliac uh, area right here, right here basically where your love handles go down. I'm actually show it to you. And your quad. So it's a little harder to test the back of your triceps, but you can do it with a little bit of practice. And if not, that's just one place, you know, you can have somebody test you out. So we're gonna go through that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then also, it's really easy because there's a bunch of different sites online that you can just look up, little calculators, you punch those in, and it gives you your body fat percentage. It's very accurate. Now, even if you don't, even if that's not as accurate as it could be, because all of these tests are pretty, you know, there's room for error. Here's the great part about the skin calipers, is as you're going down in fat, this measures the subcutaneous fat on the surface of your skin. So you can get to the point where you can just pinch these areas with your fingers and you can tell if you're going down or you're going up in fat weight. This is very, very easy. That's what I like about it is that, is that once you start using this and you use it regularly, pretty soon you can just use your fingers to test those areas and you can tell if you're going up or going down. Okay, let's start with the male way to do the three sight skin pinch. So take your slim guides. We're gonna start with a pec. So your measurement, always, always do your measurement on the same side. So for me, that's on my right side because of how I'm right-handed. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I take my left hand and that's how I measure where it's at so that I'm consistent every time. So really it's from your, it's halfway between your AC and your nipple, right? But what I do is I take my hand and just put it here so that I know that it's right here. And let's see if I can get up close right here. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like this horizontal along with your pec here. You're gonna grab this and you're gonna pinch it. Okay, and I gotta turn it around so you can actually see it. So see the numbers right here. So you grab this pinch like this. Bam. That I can see. Five. Red five on that. So that's five millimeters. Okay, next site is your abs. So I'm gonna drop this down so you guys can see. Like so. Boom. So it's one inch over from your belly button. So what I like to do is take my fingers like this, stick my thumb in my belly button, right? And it's a vertical fold. Pinch, pull out, and put the caliper right next to your finger. See if you can see that. You see that? And then you look down and you can actually see the number here. The number's 10. So we've done the pec, we've done the ab, and now we're gonna do the quad. So with the quad, it's uh, halfway from your knee to your hip crease. So basically what I like to do is I take my hand and bring it right down and at the bottom of my fingers, right in the midline of your thigh or your quad, that's where I test it. So I grab a pinch, pull it out, pinch next to my fingers, and I read. So what you would do is you take those three numbers and you would punch them into the website and then it will spit out what your body fat percentage, how much body fat you have, and a really important number which is called your lean muscle mass. This is the number we're looking for. This is the one we want to watch. That one and the body fat percentage, but specifically this one because when we're figuring out our calories, this is the main number that we need to have. So when we're going, when we're in a calorie deficit, we need to watch that number because if that number starts to drop, you know, pretty drastically, it means that we're cutting our calories too sharp or that we're not lifting properly and lifting heavy enough or not eating enough protein and our, our uh, body is going after the lean muscle mass, which is w something we definitely want to prevent. And Okay, the next measurement is for the ladies. So the ladies are also three measurements, but they're a little different. The sites are a little different. So we're gonna measure the back of the tricep first. I know that's a little difficult to do on our own, but we're gonna give it a shot. So the best way to do it is gonna have somebody else do it. And where you wanna measure is gonna be from the AC, right here, this top, this little bump right here on the top of your shoulders. From here to your elbow, it's halfway in between. So that's generally where we want to measure it at. 
So what we're gonna do is because I don't have an extra arm, I'm just gonna show you where it would basically do it. I'd do it about right here. And this is not gonna be real accurate, but at least you could actually pinch it and see what it would be. So I can see that it's five right there. So the best thing to do would be have somebody help you with that. But if you can't, you can get by with it like this. Now, second sight is gonna be your super iliac. So I'm gonna tip. Same thing, we wanna do it on the same side. So here's your iliac crest right here. And supra means right above it. So right here where that hip bone goes like this and then starts to cut down, that's where we're gonna go right up right here because this is where our fat likes to hang out. So we're gonna grab this sucker and we're gonna pinch it and we're gonna pull out. Same thing. You gotta figure out how to do it with your own, with your own hands. So I'm gonna switch it up and do it like this. So I'm gonna grab with my left, pinch right there, find that little, that little bony part right there. Pinch out, grab it, look at it, measure it. Now something I like to do is I like to do it a couple of times, like two or three times, just to make sure and you know, let it settle in a little bit, do it, do it again, do it three or four times and make sure that it actually is an accurate measurement. Because sometimes you can grab the pinch wrong or um, you know, you're, maybe you're just off in a different place. So you wanna do it a few different times. Now, last part for the ladies is gonna be the quad, same as the men. So once again, what I'm gonna show you here, go down quad, I just take my hand like this. This is basically for, for most people, I guess uh, everybody's different, but the most important part is you're being consistent where you measure. So this is how I like to do it in relation to my own body. So take your hand, put it here, and I push in and I can see my, my fingerprints. So then I just grab a pinch, pull it out. Okay, I need to spin this around. So I can actually see the measurement there. And boom, look at the measurement like that. So there you go. Take those three measurements and punch them into the website. I like to use exrx.com or .net, I think is what it's called. I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the link down in the description of the video. And you punch those in and that'll give you all those numbers that you can put on your profile sheet. Now, if you don't wanna do any of these or you wanna make it really, really simple, you can do something called the in-body. The in-body is a machine that you stand on you stand on this machine and you grab onto these little handles and it shoots an electrical impulse to your body. It's a, it's a much more advanced version of that little piece of junk that you would hold on to and do the same thing. But it actually is, is quite fairly accurate. Or it's quite fairly accurate, it's quite accurate. You can go down to DC Skills and Fitness and uh, talk to one of their trainers and they'll hook you up. Uh, or you can go down to uh, Max Muscle and I believe they charge 10 bucks um, to do it there. But for 10 bucks, it's really, really good piece of information because it actually gives you some really important things. Same thing that, uh, that this would give you if you, made, you took these measurements and then punched it in on the calculator online, but it's much easier and it's less invasive. So if you don't like this, go down there and do it that way. Either way, the whole point of this is, is that you're trying to get a baseline of, of some different, different areas. So uh, I recommend that you take a picture it is vital, actually, that you take a picture because you want to have your before before you get to your after. I mean, can you see where that's at? A lot of people will skip that step and then they get to that before or that after stage and they don't have a before picture. You want to see where you've come from. And I know a lot of people that's very painful, but take the first step in becoming a Warrior Five. You got to be brave enough to actually look at yourself and be really, really honest and say, look, here's where I'm at and that's not a big deal but here's where I want to go. So this is the whole point about, about creating an objective baseline with some numbers, is you have numbers that are measurable and you can actually increase those. You can actually see as you're going through the program, you can actually see that it's working. So whether you're building muscle or you're losing body fat, you want to establish a baseline. That way, you guys, you can check it out whether you're getting your gains or you're getting your losses. I'm Mike Garrick, helping you think, eat, and move with a purpose. Welcome to the